Hey guys, what's up? Nordic Kree here, and today I'm bringing you some bucket um, plugin tutorial help. And I don't know if I'm going to continue uploading because, as you can see, of my many subscribers that I have, I haven't uploaded in forever. And I'm pretty sure this is off center, and it's annoying me. It is. Okay, hold on. Let me just fix that. I have a freaking OCD with this stuff. But if you didn't know by the title, somehow if you can't read, this is going to be a plugin setup for um, survival games by Double O Neg. I think his name is. Um, actually, yeah, Double O Negative. That's his name. I memorized it kind of, not really. But I actually need to turn my chat back on. So, alright, there will be people talking. Actually, no, I doubt it isn't on me and her mom. But, um, so you do SG help, and I'll send you a link to the plugin in the description. Um, hold on. Just go that. <laughs> uh, this is my server. If you guys want to join, I'll put the uh, IP in the description. But, um, so this is, if you do SG help, that's these are the player commands, but since we are doing survival games, he muted himself, okay. I mean, since we're going to set up, we need the admin commands. So, SG help admin, and this is all the important stuff. So, get the shit out of there. Whatever, just, I'll let that go. So, first, what we want to do is set up the uh, uh, lobby so they have a place to spawn and this version of survival games is the, uh, the newest recommended version I'm pretty sure there's development builds that aren't recommended so yeah and it says it's for 1.6.4 even though we're on 1.7.4 as you see actually you can't see it on my screen but I'm on 1.7.4 Minecraft on uh, my server which is running 1.7.2 so yeah that's fun fact so what you want to do is you want some place for them to spawn. So you do SG set lobby spawn, and it's the second command I think. So that set the spawn, even though it just gave us that. So if we do SG join, it puts us here. But we're technically not in the game because we have not joined an arena yet. So we have the spawn set. So instead of them walking around and stuff, you can just do SG join and you're here. So what we want to do is actually set up an arena now. Now I have a world for this, but since I'm trying to make this a short tutorial, um, I'm not going to select the whole section. So let me just go into my world. It's called Quarantine. This was made by Taco Boy and a bunch of his friends. Um, so this is the spawn right here. and It goes out and out and out forever. Not forever, but uh, you also will need, <clears throat> sorry, world edit with this uh, plugin to select the arenas. Now, say this was a whole arena, even though it's not, or we want to select an uh, area. So we want to go there, first position, position, and then just do this real quick, second position. So, so if you have your whole arena marked out in a cube with world edit, so that everything in it is there you would want to do SG create arena and it's freaking raining and you want to name your arena actually no you don't even need to just do SG create arena and since that was the first arena I made it has the an identification of uh, number one and if I made more it'd be two three four five however many I want so we'll go all the way up so that's in there so now what you want to do is, after you have the arena made, see how the have the uh, circles around. That's where they're going to be spawning, like any other survival games map. So you want to do SG set spawn next. So that will set the first spawn in arena 1. And then you do it again. The second spawn, third spawn, fourth, well, fourth spawn. And all the way around to get to, I think it's usually each map has 25. So, once you set up all the spawns, 
let me just go back um, to my Mega World. You're pretty much done right now for the arena, which is good. So, um, actually, I'll just do back. Okay, wrong area. Hold on. Sorry about that. Let me just fly back over as it slowly renders in. Alright, so now we're back. Oh, I could have done just SG join. I should have done that. <laughs> just a quick reference. So we still want our wand. And um I th I think any width or any length of the whole board that you want to be viewing everything on is. Um it's fine, whatever it is. So I think you want to do set wall sign and then four. Okay, that was wrong. Five? That was wrong. Six. There you go. I think. No. Okay, maybe I did that wrong. Do it all. Okay. It might have been like this. Actually, wait, what? Sorry, I'm a little rusty with this. Um, no, okay. I'm pretty sure it was actually eight. Wall sign eight. I have no idea, actually. So let me go look that up right now. Okay, so for this length, it was actually wall sign two. As I tested with myself. I didn't even uh, need to look it up. Let me just get rid of this stuff. Alright, so we had, you have your wall set up. Almost set up, so actually have admin, so we can see what we're doing. So we want to add the wall now. So we still want to have our uh, wand out. So this will be the first. This will show the first arena and everything. So we want to do SG add wall, and then the arena ID. So we only have one arena right now. So that's arena one, and it is right there. So it's waiting zero out of four. Uh, zero zero out of four. So, um, that, that first zero means how many people are in the game, the grayed out me means how many are dead, and the four is the maximum amount of spots, and as you remember, we only set four spots before, so that's why there's only four, it's usually like what I said, 25. So if we were to join, um, actually hold on, uh, Kevin, come here please, let's just have him to test it out. Um, tell him to do this. Hopefully he's actually here. Because when he right clicks the sign, he'll go to the, this section. And this is just the whole list of names that will go off. He does not have permission. Oh yeah, I'll set that up later also. So I just teleported him here, right click, sign. Okay, he doesn't have perms. So, before we do that, I'll just I'll just prove to you that it works. So we're here. Oh yeah, I can just um, let's you leave. Hold on, I can just op him. All right, so see, he's there, and just tell him what to do. That if that's if you want to leave a um lobby or leave a game. Did he leave? Yeah. D op. Okay. So he left. So um, that's good. So that's pretty much all you need to do for the um, sorry <laughs> for the um, whole configuration and everything. But now we want them to have permission to be able to click the sign and to do uh, SG join and stuff like that and leave and whatnot. So we can see the player commands like this: SG um, leave. Q, I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, you can vote for your um, the vote for it to start the game. You get spectate what arena ID you want and stuff like that. So okay, just checking how many people are on. I have the permissions right here. So if you want the permissions for just regular people, you would do. I'm just gonna do this in game. I use permissions X, so I'm gonna do permissions X group. And the first group I ever made was noob, so noob. This will give noob and up all the permissions that noob has. So like the next track would have this permission also. Then add 
asked for add permission and sg.arena.join.start. Now the dot star makes it so they can join any arena ID. If you want a specific arena, you do like arena one or arena two. But I'm just gonna do dot start. So that was added. Did I do that wrong? No, it just looks like a dot. <laughs> um, Alright, so we have that to join. I will also put you know to link to everything in the description if you want to see the advanced permissions. But I'm just doing basic permissions for players right now. So then the next permission will be sg.arena.vote. And so that will oops. That will allow them to vote for the game to start. And then after that you if you want, you, this is all voluntarily, but I recommend it. Um, spectate so they could spectate whatever arena ID they want. And of course you want them to join. So SG dot join. Then I'm just gonna reload my permissions manager so it all takes effect. Um, I think that's it for the player permissions. You can the admin permissions are you know, you don't really need to give anyone else permission for that except your admins, which will also be in the um, you know, the link to the bucket bucket plugin. Um, let me just unmute this kid. Um, try SG join. If this works, then all of the permissions I gave him should have worked. I'm just gonna wait for him to do it. Have an um, little tester testing something. Let me just close that real quick. All right, so that's pretty much actually it. It's actually quite simple. Um, um, teleport you. You won't die. It. That's pretty much it. It's it's simple. Um, did he have permission? Because he did it in the console. But he's not here. Are you here? No permission. Alright, so he doesn't have permission for joining. This is all a process. So for them to join, they don't have... What? Oh, I forgot a permission. See, I'm pretty smart. So you want to do permissions, group, noob. Oh, that's my first group, noob. Add. Um, sg dot lobby dot join. Um, try again, please. All right, so that should work, and then he should be able to click the sign because I I absolutely know that he uh, that he has permission because you know I, I remember typing it in. <laughs> I I just missed that one line. Okay, so it worked. He's here. Thank you. And he could probably click that if he honestly wanted to. You can click the sign if you want to. Sorry that I'm talking and typing. It's just something that I do for some reason. I have no idea why. So this tutorial was also long, but that's pretty much okay. Whatever. That's pretty much the end. As again, um, and again, here. Then SG leave to go back to the lobby spawn. And uh, say if I had another arena. Now do SG add wall two, but I don't have an arena two, and that actually gave me a error in the console. So don't do that if you don't want errors. So that's pretty much the um that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Sorry it was kind of long and kind of bad. It's my first time making tutorials, but I actually kind of know a lot about plugins. I could do um other tutorials like uh, multiverse, which is actually kind of hard but you know I could try it out so if you guys um, like this video please like it uh, support tell me if I should or should not do this I don't know if I should do um, do plugin tutorials for a bucket but uh, leave a comment with your suggestion below and I want to thank you guys for watching this video